Hey guys, and today this video is a little different because I'm doing a voiceover post recording. It was a bunch of technical stuff that I'll get into when I go fight Phaedra. But yeah, we're going on to fight Gaius, who is my personal favorite. Just because he's so humanoid, I guess, is the proper word. Because he has the sword on his arm, so it makes you feel like you're actually in the middle of a duel instead of just killing a random animal. And I remember from the fight, I, I just got done recording it, so. It was really annoying. Cause there was, you'll see the captions I put up and see what I had to go through. It was really annoying. Tell me, Dooman, who is thy next foe? Thy next foe is... A giant canopy soars to the heavens. The anger of the sleeping giant shatters the earth. So yeah, that's Gaius. And uh, we're coming up on the uh, compilation of me just walking around and trying to find Gaius. He's probably the longest time it took me to find one of them.
So, uh, yeah, picking back up the audio. This is the cutscene for, uh, guys, a little... I guess... It's not exactly floating, it's being held up by those pillars. So, just his little disc thing. His arena. But yeah, this one... I like the setup for this one, too. Right now, I was just testing all the buttons, just seeing what does what. Because this was, I'm still printing out the game when I was recording this. But yeah. Here's me swimming, 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 swimming. Look at me, doggy paddle. Here I was going up the arc thing. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that. If not, go back a couple seconds. But uh, you can actually hear like the water slosh around in his shoes. Just some really good noise detail. Doesn't mean making sure I didn't trip over him and fall to my untimely swimming death. This is the part that really annoyed me. This is supposed to be a hard jump. I only missed it once, but look at what happened. Yeah, the amount of times I have watched that clip over and remembered exactly what I did. I didn't do anything wrong. I jumped for it. The game just naturally pulled me to the side for some reason, and that made me miss it. But yeah, this was attempt two. This is the time that I actually could get up. Um, again, water sloshing, you can hear that. But yeah, this, I was holding my breath when I actually did this. Not this, this was pretty easy. I'm, I was seeing where Gaius was. This, this part right here, held my breath for. But yeah, I was genuinely happy that I could make that jump and not have to redo that entire section for a third time. And this one, I had to when I he was in mid jump, I kind of released the uh, grip button, so I thought I was gonna fall and have to redo that section again. But yeah, here was Gaius. Like I said, my he's either my favorite or my second favorite. I don't know Avion is kind of cool, so yeah. Oh, big boy. Yeah, can you please wake up? I need to, uh, talk to you about stuff. I need to talk to you about shining my sword with your blood. Hi! You're tall. And skinny. That's when I honestly felt bad. When I finally was able to kill him. But yeah. Part one, step one, whatever you want to call it. I had to break his armor. As you see the little thing right there. Yeah, this took me a long time and a lot of arrows to get his attention. To get him to break that armor to allow me to climb up his arm. Honestly, if I do the time trial of him, I'm going to be screwed seven ways to Sunday. Because of this part right here fact that he wants to slightly move and now I thought I could actually make it just without destroying that armor but yeah see I'm staying in the circle I can just swing his sword down right now and then he moves it just when I'm about to break his armor but yeah this time was the actual time I was able to get the cutscene to go and to get him to break his armor. And yeah, that was probably the second hardest part of this entire fight. First hardest part 
is the one that you're about to see right now flash up on the screen. I had to break the armor, which was pretty hard. But next, I had to climb his sword. A lot of times, I should have had this, but the game bugged out on me. I don't even want to count. I don't need to, but I counted at least five times. This one, I should have had that one, but it wasn't letting me grip it. Some of them were just like genuine, like I didn't do what I needed to do. Like that one, I was just sitting there and I didn't have my grip. I told my grip button, but it didn't do the thing. This one, this one was the one I thought I had because I was on the side, jumping, trying to grip, but again, game decided to bug out. Maybe these are all just because I really suck at the game. I don't know why I kept shooting them with arrows. Maybe that was just to egg them on to do that. This one was probably one of them, that right there, I had my fingers on the thing, but the game bugged out and made me release it. And this is the one that was super buggy, watch at, watch Wander and what happens to him at the end of this little section. Oh, never mind. Oh yeah, that's when I, that's next time that I do it. This time I actually got up and it was pretty, fairly easy. I kind of failed my technique on this one because what I wanted to do, get the head one, then drop down to that armor around his chest area, then drop down to his waist, but things started to do badly around this area because that right there wasn't gripping and then I figured I might as well just get the chest one done when I while I can don't risk falling off and having to redo the entire thing yeah I did I let him do his little shaky shaky thing when I jumped up did my little song and dance with them with my sword and um this is probably the, uh, it took me, I think, it took me about three stabs for each one, because the one that I go on his head one, this is where it really made me mad, but the head one kind of, I did a small one, but his health bar didn't show up, so I don't think that really counted. I tried to climb back up his, uh, chest, but wouldn't let me, this, right here, I should not have happened. What I wanted to do was I wanted to do the YOLO jump onto his arm, and this is the War of Attrition. Parched Dose. This time, it was the same exact thing. Part step, step 2.5. Had to climb his sword. That time, really, was my fault. I shouldn't have made him do it when we were so close to the edge. I defaulted back to the middle, so he would have to do his swing. This one right here, I should have had watch wander and what happens to them. He practically gets teleported off the edge of the sword and then drops. That time I should have had it, but no, let's just drop him. This was the time between them that kind of made me mad. I should have had that one too, again, grip button didn't want to work on my controller. This one right here. This is the time I was officially able to make him do it. Wander decided to be do his little thing. This time I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it for the bat, but I was actually able to grab on, stay on, and just mess the entire colossus up. See, I was running with my finger on the grip button so I wouldn't fall off. Three times I had to hold on from now, the beginning of when I got on his sword, three times I had a grip because he kept moving his sword just a little bit, making me do my fall off. I was climbing, boom, 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 yeah. I started getting my grip back right over here, then I decided to climb again up to his shoulder blade. 
and just try my best to end the fight as soon as I humanly could. But yeah, he does a little shakety shake. I couldn't exactly climb up his head with. I kind of, that was a kind of choppy cut, but I had to move, and that's just where I had to pick Cuff up at. This is when I finally was able to kill him. That was a, I did a quickie right there, right before that. Right between the uh, cut, I did the uh, quickie. I, like, he had no health right now. But right before the uh, uh, cut back to his body, I was able to climb up, do a little quickie. Didn't show his health bar, but yeah. This one, I'm not sure if I already said it, but this one I actually genuinely felt bad about killing because he, he's the most humanoid one, and he has a sword, and kind of makes me feel like I'm killing a human. Which I know is kind of stupid, but it does when you consider he's so humanoid. But yeah, that was a guy ass fight. It took me way longer than I probably should have. Oh no, the tentacles. But yeah, this is voiceover Tristan signing off.